What is up everyone riding naked here? First time using the GoPro. Say what? Actually it's not really the first time. I tried to use it one other time, but it just didn't work out. So I'm hoping my microphone is staying in place. My uh, mounting setup is a little sketchy. Oh, it's a lot of gravel right there. So, yeah, this is my third vlog for today. We went and had lunch earlier, just went and rode around, had some fun. Uh, nothing extreme. Oh, God. Here's my buddy's uh, 2012, 2013 Striker. He seems to like it. I'm not old enough for cruiser mode yet. If I took a lot of long distance trips across the country, I could see it, definitely. But I don't do that, so. I don't get it. <laughs> Just to ride back and forth to work and to play around like I like to do. I am not cruiser worthy yet, or cruiser ready yet, I guess I should say. So, I think I'm still shooting 1080 60 on this video, which is not gonna work. We'll ask him what year his bike is. What year's your bike? 14? Oh, you like it? No. You wanna buy it? No. I'll trade you. I got a bike rack at home. <laughs> I'll throw in 50 bucks. Dude, I need to get a new seat. Dude, we went for a bike ride in the Pika home. And I got penetrated again. <laughs> Double penetration. Is that your first or second time? Second. So do you think the bike's ever gonna call you back? You didn't even ask for my number. Dick. Mm. Woo! Got that new tire on there. Hoodie underneath my jacket, I can hear the strings hitting my helmet. Let's try to talk about something relevant. So, ah, hairs in my face. So, when I got, I got my tire put on, as you guys can see, and uh, I was like super happy, super thrilled about it. There, the, the, the guy that worked at the dealership was trying to sit there and sell me a CB 1000 R, and I would have loved to have taken that bike home. Love to, like, love, like, thinking about that bike is giving me a chub right now. But I just, I don't have the money for it. That's a $9,000 bike, brand new. And uh, so, yeah, I just. tire mounted I ended up so some people are just really lucky um, an example of that is my cousin's husband his cousin um, used to work with a lady he used to work at a casino and the lady he used to work with every day he used to see her every day and she was uh, widowed or divorced or something I don't remember but anyway my cousin went out and bought an RC51, which if you don't know what that is, it used to be Honda's like top of the line 1000 race bike. Um, V4, pretty cool bike, really loud. So anyway, um, my cousin went out and bought that. And that was his first bike of all the things to buy. And so his cousin goes out and buys a 2007 Jixxer 600 
But here's the thing, it wasn't that he just went out and bought a Jitser 600. This lady that he worked with every day, he was talking about wanting to buy it and he didn't have the money and it was a great price for the bike and all that. Well, the lady one day <clears throat> takes her lunch break. She comes back, she hands him an envelope. And he's like, oh, what's this for? She goes, it's a gift. She goes, I just, she goes, it's a gift. You're a nice young man. I enjoy your company. And this is just something I want to do for you. So he opens the envelope, and inside this envelope is like $7,500, which is more than enough for the bike. And taxes, title, all that. Well, anyway, um, so that's, that's one example that I'm trying to use of people getting lucky. Get away from the fucking truck, dude. So anyway, um, let me know your stories of people who have gotten lucky in the past and have gotten, uh, you know, an unexpected upgrade or someone did something super generous for them or, or uh, they did something that probably should have killed them and they lived, you know. Let me know what your guys' stories are of people that are lucky. Um, I hope this moto vlog works out. So, anyway, guys, once again, thanks for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.